Christopher Edwards was the first to be arrested in this case, appearing in court a few times Whoa. already. All right, Mr. Edwards, how are you today? Horrible. The next time we saw him in court, it didn't seem like his day got any better, as he flipped off cameras and made lewd hand gestures. Edwards will return to a courtroom Wednesday, this time with company, 38-year-old Brian Parker and his 22-year-old daughter, Lindsay Parker. According to court documents obtained by WLWT, Lindsay Parker lured her ex-boyfriend, a 22-year-old Cincinnati man, to this home in Clear Creek Township by telling him she was being abused by a current boyfriend. But when the victim arrived, police say he was kidnapped. The victim said a man he later knew as Mongo placed him in a dog cage in the basement, which was metal grated and padlocked. Police say Mongo is Edward's nickname. The victim said several people, including Edwards and Lindsay and Brian Parker, struck, burned, tied, blindfolded, and tortured him on numerous occasions. He somehow escaped three days later, ran across the street to a Clear Creek Township firehouse, broke a window, and stole an ambulance. This is a, a Clear Creek Fire Station 22. Our medic got stolen. He has a cops commander. The victim drove it to a Dayton hospital to get help. Police originally said there were six suspects in the case. Three have now been indicted on kidnapping and felonious assault charges. And a police officer who requested a search warrant to the house in Clear Creek Township said he believed multiple items were inside that house, including silver chain handcuffs, extension cords, pool sticks, and needle nose pliers. Now, records indicate he found most of what he was looking for, but the court documents never stated exactly what he believed those items were used for. Reporting live tonight in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right.